bodies hope you guys are having a fantastic day so uh, trying to take my vitamins I don't know about y'all. Oh, I love this whole thing. I got it from GNC. I don't know if y'all can see it. But I got it packed with my vitamins and stuff. Yeah. Is it focus? Yeah, there you go. But I've got um my iron and potassium, my magnesium my prenatals, um, my BCAA, allergy pills, and my, and my joint supplement. And then I've got my vitamin B complex and C right there, my vitamin D, folic acid. And yes, I try to take all of them, but here's the thing. Some people, like, every time I go to my doctor and they ask me why don't I just take one multivitamin, it's because I don't feel like the multivitamin gives me all the vitamins that I need. Like, I need extra iron, I need the extra, you know, stuff, so to me it's kind of cool. A multivitamin is a waste of money in my mind. So, I don't take them, I don't buy them. But I wanted to come on and give y'all my salutation for the day. Um, today's video, um, I'm going to organize my. Let me turn it out that way so y'all can see me better. There I go. But today's video is going to be me organizing um, my upstairs closet. Come on. You can do it. Is it focusing? Yeah, it's focused. Okay. But today I'm going to organize one of like the closets that just give me so much trouble. Um, give me a second, y'all be able to see it, and then I'll show you exactly what I'm using to organize it. Um, everything in this video is either from Walmart or the container store um and I'll be sure to point that out but welcome back homebodies and if this is your first time please you know consider sticking around um I would love for you to become a part of the homebody family and as usual don't forget to rate comment and subscribe Okay, I'm not sure if you guys saw these in my freezer or not, but I think these are the medium bins, and y'all, I cannot begin to tell you how much I love these things. Um, they keep my freezer organized, and I can just take everything out. It keeps it off the, you know, it wouldn't be the floor, but it would, keep, it would be the bottom. It keeps the bottom of the freezer clean. Um, I also have them, well one, in my pantry, um, this is the one we keep coffee in, I love it, these are from Walmart and these are from the at home store, so um, I absolutely love the way this organization system worked out because anytime that something spills, I can immediately take out the whole bin and wash it without issues. So I also have them in my hall closet. Let me show you. Um, okay, let's focus. There you go. So I have two of the smaller bins right here in my hall closet. This is honestly where I keep all of my decor and obviously light bulbs and one two vacuum cleaners yeah but these particular ones I only keep like smaller decor and um, the dog stuff you know stuff like that 
but honestly this is usually where I keep like decor and cleaning supplies but I think I'm not sure I'm going to take these cleaning supplies out and put them in the hall the bathroom closet which I'm going to show you now so I actually um, just straighten this out but let me show you this okay let me step over here to the corner so I can show you this real quick so I literally have two doors in this extremely small bathroom back to back and I don't like it I genuinely want to take this door off and just leave this closet open that way when you're in the bathroom you don't have two doors competing to open with each other so I do plan to remove this door and just leave this open and then get some custom shelving done so that it looks more presentable but that's not what we're talking about we're talking about this organizational system it was way more than this okay like seriously in that video I had these larger bins stacked too high on both of these shelves and then the medium ones stacked too high like across the shelf but I have convinced my mom closet to just this and come on okay let's turn on manual focus there we go I've condensed my mom closet to this and as you can see there's like a whole gap right here that I could have shelving in for cleaning products and you know still have storage for towels and my mom's dash so I feel like this would be one of my next projects but up here as you can see it's just general stuff you know and here in these bins because we for real have allergies um, I've got some nanny pots epi pins and you know oh that's my prescription y'all can't see all of that um, inhalers and then I've got some lotion for the kids dental in this bin um, honestly cold medicine all that good stuff band-aids and then first aid stuff and then there's a first aid kit right there so as you can see like I've got all this space that I could be using like this space is empty too but this is just crazy like I just feel like something could be utilized here instead of it just being blank now part of me does feel like if I take that door off it'll look a little um, too open especially with all those cleaning products but honestly I feel like that's a risk I'm willing to take because I just don't see a purpose in having two doors compete like back to back like it's such a it's such a design faux pas and I hate it and I didn't like it um, when we moved in so I think that'll be one of my first um gotta get it done things when construction starts back so of course you guys will be on the rodeo for that um but we're gonna go upstairs and get that closet organized so that y'all can see these suckers in action I do use these bins underneath my cabinet as well, but currently I do plan to do a, another video on how I organize my skincare, body care, and personal care items. So it's March, look, I'm looking at my, my vent right here. And it's time to spring clean anyway. It's just been like really gloomy and I haven't yet. But be on the lookout for that video. Also, tell me how y'all feel about these vlog style videos when I get like when I'm not just sitting down talking to you guys. Um, this is the closet that I need to organize. Look, let me put a disclaimer. Okay, I live with people. Okay, 
and we all have our own way of living in a house. So this is how we live in this house with this closet that just doesn't seem to want to do right, okay? Look at that. My husband installed a light in here for me because this, this closet can just be so dark, like, it can be so dark. But I'm gonna give y'all like a pan over so that y'all can see what I'm working with. And uh, yeah. All right, so down here we've got some shelving over here. We've got some vacuum attachments, some, you know, detergents, heater, bedding. I do like to keep at least two um, travel bags up here because, um, you know, I don't want to go all the way to the basement to get my luggage. And I definitely don't want to keep my luggage in my personal closet. I keep sleeping bags because I always got kids around. There go those bins again. These are from Walmart. And as you can see, this is why I really need to get this space organized. Moving up, I've got like our swimming slash beach towels, another iron. I made that blanket. I made that. I'm going to show it to you guys. And then I've got another a nebulizer. Sorry, I'm trying to keep the light on so y'all can see. A nebulizer, a tin fan because I just get super hot sometimes. And then up here at the top, we've got some paper towels. We've got some more bedding, and then we've got this little chair thing that my husband bought me because it's so sweet, and the little foot thing, he got that for me, he's so sweet. So, this is honestly what I'm trying to get organized because it just looks so bad. Usually I would pull everything out, but I like the way the closet is situated currently. So I don't really feel the need to like pull everything all the way out. And I wanna say about a year ago, I got rid of all of the access bedding that we were not using and I probably would never use it again. So, I mean, we're already down to the bare bones. I just want this space to be a little bit more functional um, than it already is. Uh, but I kind of like where it is right now. I just need to not look like this. I mean, yeah. So, let's go. Right now, 
background. What I'm gonna do first is I'm going to sit the bands in here and see exactly what fits. And then from there, organize, we'll take all the other stuff out and then put it back in here in the respective bands. I don't know what took me so long to do this. All right, that was a struggle, but it's in there. Okay, so I don't know if I'm gonna keep this like this, but I've got like two of the smaller bins right here and then two of the larger bins right here. This corner is kind of dead space because they caddy cornered this wall for whatever reason. So I think I like this this way. Okie dokie. So now I'm going to attempt to get all this stuff organized in these bins. Uh, I think I'm, I'm gonna do this on the floor. Yeah, I think that'd be better. So we are officially done. Um, I'm going to show you what we have left over. And then I'm going to show you what the closet looks like now. Um, I still feel like it could be better. But I realized that I'm not going to go out and purchase anything until I get the closet organizer in here. Um, yeah. So that's where things are gonna land for this. Um, of course, per usual, you guys will come along with me for the ride when I do get this closet, the laundry room, and the two bedrooms here closet done. Um, hopefully I can get all four of them done at the same time and you guys will just be able to see how we function. So we've got one, medium or large size bin left over um we've got one two three of this no these this is the large and this is the medium because they have a small and an extra large as well but um those rollers actually go inside my bathroom in a little kit thingy that i have all of this in here is being discarded all of this in here is being discarded and these now can go to another project. In the closet, I've put all of the large coverlets down here with the shams. Um, I kind of just left this stuff well enough alone for the moment. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure if I'm getting rid of those bookcases down in the living room yet. So those have a permanent home here until. The washing powders. Of course, these remain the same. No need to, you know, move this stuff. Um, but this, I feel like worked out so much better because now my daughter and my nephew, they can just pull the bin and, you know, bring it to me as I'm doing their hair. Um, over here, you know, of course, you saw me stuffing the shop not shop microfiber towels in here and this bin is just you know utility bin one vacuum bag and then some batteries so, ooh, ooh, ooh. Gotta be careful all the little hair accessories and then on this shelf you see we've still got our two large uh, pool towels um, regular towels for the kids the sheets and um yes we do iron sheets in this house i feel like they lay flatter in the closet this way and then when you take them out and put them on the bed 
I just think they look amazing. So thanks to my lovely hubby, he ironed these and folded them. Um, I still have a rim of tissue, paper towels. I relocated the iron up there, although we ironed the clothes too. So this is decoration. The nebulizer still up here. The laundry folder back there is from the container store. My fan and my seat and foot massager are still there. On the door, I still have this so that when I have guests, I can hang their, um, you know, robes up there or whatever. And then at the top, my husband installed this light. Um, it is motion sense and it is battery operated. All right, homebodies, thank you so much for coming back for another video. Let me know if you guys like these vlog style um, videos. I like doing them because I feel like it's a little bit more personal, it's a little bit more one-on-one. -on -one. But tell me how you guys feel. I hope that you have an amazing day. And I'm so grateful that you keep coming back to support me and you're commenting and you're liking and you're subscribing. Um, it really helps me and I see you guys actually like viewing. I'm so excited. We finally hit a hundred subscribers and don't think that I take this lightly. Like I'm so grateful. Like I'm so grateful for every single person that subscribes to my channel. I'm so grateful for everybody that, um, continues to comment. I'm so grateful for the feedback. Um, I don't take it lightly and I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for just believing in me and uh, believing in my work. <laughs>